Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand uh, one numerical problem and we will see if the transistor is working in saturation mode or not, right? So this is the circuit diagram for, for the transistor. You can see this is the numerical problem. So here we have uh, 3.3 volt base voltage which is connected to a base resistance 10k then it is connected to the base of the transistor right then we have 12 volt supply and this goes to the collector resistance rc which is 1k and then it is connected to the collector terminal of the transistor and here you can see your emitter is grounded so here we have waste to emitter saturated voltage is 0.2 volt and beta dc equals to 50 and base to emitter voltage is 0 0.c so now our objective to analyze this circuit is to find out if the transistor is saturated or not if the transistor is working in saturation mode or not so this is our objective and now we have we have to solve the numerical and find yes it is working in saturation or yes it is not working in the saturation so this is our objective so let me solve the numerical so first uh, let us say current flowing through this loop from here to here is ic which is very near to ie okay so let us say if you apply a kvl in this loop in this loop so what will be the equation for the kvl okay this equals to vcc right vcc minus ic that is collector current into the collector resistance rc ic into rc minus vce vce equals to zero right equals to zero so this is the kvl if you apply in this loop in this path right vcc minus ic into rc since current flowing through this resistance is ic so ic into rc then we have vce minus vce equals to zero now your your objective is to find out the to find out the collector saturated current so so ic into ic into rc equals to vcc minus vce right vcc minus vce and if you further solve this this is ic equals to vcc right vcc minus vce right divide by rc divide by rc so this is the saturated collector current so you can write it is ic ic set right ic set equals to vc minus vce divided by rc now you have vc equals to 12 volt minus vce equals to 0.2 volt and rc equals to 1k so if you solve this you can find 11.8 milliampere right so your 11.8 milliampere is ic sat so the saturation current which is flowing through this transistor is 11.8 milli ampere right so this is the this is the ic sat which is the maximum current flowing through this circuit which is the maximum current flowing through this transistor or the or this circuit so now you have to find out the base current which allow which allow to flow of maximum saturation current so to find out the base current you have to apply kvl 
in this loop so here uh, i will write here vbb minus since base current is ib so bb b minus rb into rb into ib right minus base to emitter voltage which is for silicon transistor vbe equals to zero okay since for this transistor vbe equals to 0 0.7 so you can find the value by solving this equation you can find ib equals to right ib equals to vbb right vbb minus vbe right vbe divided by rb okay this is the rb now if you if you replace the value so vb equals to 3.3 .3 volt right minus 0 0.7 volt here and your rb equals to 10k so if you further solve this you can find your ib equals to 0 0.26 milliampere so this is this is the base current flowing through this circuit this circuit design okay so this is the maximum base current which is flowing through this circuit now you have iv and you have a value of beta dc so you know that ic collector current equals to beta dc into ib right so uh, beta dc 50 into ib equals to 0 0.26 milliampere right 0 0.26 milliampere and if you solve this 50 into 0 0.26 milliampere which is coming 30 milliampere right so this is your 30 milliampere is corrector current right and 11.8 milliampere is maximum saturated current collector current ic side which is flowing through this design or this circuit so you can see that your maximum allowable collector current is 13 milliampere and now out of 13 milliampere you are drawing 11.8 milliampere current so your transistor is transistor is saturated now even if you further increase your base current let us say let us say if your base current is increasing from 0 0.26 milliampere to 0 0.3 milliampere or 0 0.4 milliampere or 0 0.5 milliampere even then your collector saturated current ic sat will flow only 11.8 milliampere okay 11.8 milliampere so we can say that this circuit is designed to work on the saturation region or saturation mode hope you understand the concept for transistor as saturation region or saturation mode hope you understand how do you solve uh, how do you realize your uh, your circuit to find out if transistor is working in a saturation mode or not if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section Thanks for watching this video.